Crew members can come in a wide variety of categories. They can be working on board cruise ships, they can be working up on uh, blue water vessels, they can be working on a tug and barge, they can be working on a ferry boat. Every single one of those crew members who have a reasonably permanent connection to a particular vessel and who perform a function on the ship is generally going to be categorized as a Jones Act seaman. Jones Act seaman is a federal statute, but the three major claims that a Jones Act seaman can bring are the Jones Act federal statutory claim, which is a ne statutory negligence claim. They can bring what's called an unseaworthiness claim. Unseaworthiness basically means that the crew or the vessel or its equipment was not reasonably fit for its intended purpose. And the last claim is what's referred to as maintenance and cure. There are no workers' compensation benefits to Jones Act Seaman. So what they get is what's called maintenance and cure. Maintenance is they give a, a stipend, which is a per diem living allowance, or else they starve to death. And they also get cure, which is payment of their medical expenses. Any medical expenses related, in fact, even unrelated to the original incident up until the time they're diagnosed as maximum medical cure. Those are the three major claims. We're called upon very, very often to help those crew members. Probably represents at least, probably just under 50% of the firm's work.